KBOI 2 News this morning. It's hard to find a criteria for evaluating a great athlete or just a dependable one. So in spring football, Boise State coaches are trying to find maybe not the next group of legends, but certainly the next batch of starters. After all, the Broncos did lose 20 seniors to graduation, plus Kamalai Correa left early for this month's NFL draft. Now, 12 of those seniors made at least one start last year. So spring football, like the scrimmage that happened this weekend, it's a good chance for players to get a leg up. And for those coordinators, well, they need to move on and find the next wave of contributors. It's a part of the game, like at the scrimmage. We keep a lot of that stuff in-house, but yeah, we talk about a little bit of that. Yeah, you know, we're, they're good football players too. Everybody starts at a point. It's about where you finish, and yeah, there's definitely some of that. Those guys are stepping up. I mean, that's that's football. Someone gets a chance. They get a chance to go in there and compete and improve, and they're taking advantage of it. We talk about it all the time in, in fall camp. You guys are all over it, but we, the chances of us making it through a year with being healthy is just unfortunately slim to none, and um, that's what we're preparing for right now. Boise State continues spring practices this week. The spring game is next Saturday at 5 o'clock. Now at the BSU scrimmage, three quarterbacks combined to throw for about 260 yards. At the Idaho Vandal scrimmage in Lewiston, Jake Luton had more than double that output, and the sophomore aired it out for 571 yards and seven touchdowns. All of this while last year's starter, Matt Linehan, is sidelined with a foot in an injury. But even with Linehan out, Luton is working with him, his competitor, to improve. He's right there with me. We're really close. He's always helping me out, telling me what, what he sees from back there. And and he's always there to help and, and coach me up, and it's, it's good. Between me and the receivers and tight ends and, and Matt and the receivers and tight ends, we all have a great relationship, great chemistry. Idaho's spring games set for April 22nd at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. The Idaho Stampede was founded back in 1997. In that time, the team has gone through two leagues and 10 coaches and even a D-League title. Now, all that history could be moving on. According to D-League Digest, the Utah Jazz are planning on relocating the Stampede to Salt Lake City beginning next season. The team's lease with CenturyLink Arena lasted just through this year. Idaho wrapped up its season this weekend and finished 20 and 30. Now we have checked in with the Stampede but have not heard back. That's your morning sports. Have a great day.